Well, nationally, drivers are beginning to see a little relief from the jump at the pump. The average dropped three cents from Friday to three dollars and ninety-five cents a gallon. But locally, the prices on average are still more than four bucks. You can find three eighty-nine. You can find still four oh nine. A drop in oil prices today could someday be a good sign for drivers. Crude oil following a couple of, fall, falling a couple of dollars, settling at $98 a barrel. Investors say they are seeing less demand for gasoline. Analysts say prices will continue to drop and expect to be another quarter drop, they say, by Memorial Day. Well, all of the public anger about the prices at the pump has made some in Washington take notice. This weekend, the president spoke on the issue, and today, Wisconsin Congressman Reed Ribble followed suit, visiting an Appleton gas station. Fox 11's Lindsay Veramus has multiple views for us. Hoping to take on an issue where it's most keenly felt, U.S. Representative Reed Ribble was talking gas prices at the gas pump. Where do you stand on drilling in the... Well, I, you know, I support what the president did yesterday, where he came out to start expanding some leases to increase oil production here. U.S. oil companies have faced a temporary ban since the BP oil spill. However, hoping to ramp up domestic oil production, President Barack Obama has directed his administration to give companies in the Gulf and off the Alaskan coast more time to begin drilling. Ribble says it's a good step, but is also pushing for a streamlined permit process. If we can do both of those things, expand the lease and speed up the process on permitting, we can improve supply. That said, he admits action in Washington won't have any immediate impact. Experts tell him it will take three years to see improvements at the pump. Rising gas prices have very little to do with increased drilling within our lands because the prices of gas are not set by us. They're set on a world market, a free market. And Minster isn't comfortable with expanded drilling. She was among a group of protesters at the station, many of whom feel oil companies shouldn't get help from taxpayers. If somebody needs subsidy, it's the working people, not the oil companies. It is really frustrating that way. Breaking with many Republicans, Ribble agrees. We, we subsidize big oil to the tune of about $4 billion a year. I think it's time for those to go away. Industry advocates claim the tax breaks are needed for companies to invest in exploration and production. Without them, they believe gas prices will climb. Then we do something. Drivers already feeling the pinch have little sympathy. In Appleton, Lindsay Vermis, Fox 11 News.